awesome. Dear Esther, I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiralled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. This is <laughs> terrible things. Everything's terrible in this story. What, what was that about? He's guilty of something? Okay, we're gonna have to walk back that way. I think, well, he found Paul somewhere, and he's guilty, and they had coffee or tea or something, and then he's panicking. Ah, bad times for everyone. Okay, so there's a cave there, there's a ship there, there's the lighthouse there, and back there, there was the standing stones. Can we walk this way? We can't. Holy crap, we can walk everywhere. Where should we go first, guys? Where should we go first? Okay, not this way, because there's an invisible wall this way. We're... Oh, here we go, yes, here we go, we can walk this way. Do you hear something? Hopefully without drowning we can walk this way. Nope. Uh, nope. Can we go around here? I'm just going... Like the first thing I do is go to the least obvious place. Okay, so we're not... Can we get to the... Whoa, can we get to the ship? Yes, we can get to the ship, I think. So that's the other side of the house. The lighthouse. I don't know how that helps, but okay. Let's try to go to the boat without drowning. Okay, I'm drowning. Come on, you can't swim. Jeez. Okay, so we're not going to the boat there. Can we kind of climb up on these rocks or something? Oh, look, we just jumped up onto the rocks. That's not. There, okay. The geometry is a bit strange. I don't know if it's the the way the guy moves or if it's yeah. I don't know why it does that. But that looks really interesting. That cave. So I'm not gonna go there yet. <laughs> Let's go back up this place. See if we can get to the standing stones from here. Actually, should we? No. Before he was saying we should go to the caves. I'm pretty sure the caves is the destination. It's glowing blue inside, so someone... So either something awesome is in there, or someone's been playing with the fluorescent paint. Can we walk up here or not? Yes, we can. Look at this, flowing water. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, flowing water. That looks... fairly good. Is that how water looks like? That looks fairly believable. Not perfect, but pretty good. Yeah? Alright, so there's a path here. Uh, if we can make our way up. Okay, I guess we're not going along the path. We're gonna go along the little creek. Oh, here we go. So, <laughs> wow, these paths are really inefficient. Like, you walk along the beach, turn around 180, walk all the way back, to the lighthouse almost, and then turn 180 and then go all the way back along this little creek. That's the most inefficient set of paths I've ever seen. Okay, what's up here then? Maybe I should have gone into the caves first. Like, this is a long way to go for a dead end if this is a dead end. This might not be a dead end. Wait, he said you need a, a, a flashlight from his headstone before you go into the cave? I don't know what that means. Are these the stones? Or what? Well, we can go back to the beach from here. Like, if we just jump off that cliff, we can go... wait a minute. 
chemistry. Chemistry. That's a different pol That's a different molecule. What is that? Is this place like what happened here? Like some sort of chemical disaster or chemical warfare or what's going on? The path continues up. I think I should have gone into the cave. I'm not 100% sure. I think I should have gone into the cave. Ah, damn it. Okay, let's go back to the cave. <laughs> you can't tell where you're supposed to go. Does it matter? Does it matter if I don't go into the cave? I don't know. I don't know, I'm a gamer, I want to see everything. If if the guy, look, look, if the game designers spent their time making that cave, then I'm going to respect them enough to go look at it, alright? I'm going to go look at that cave. Excuse me while I cough again. Uh, if I can make my way down, hopefully. Is this the same way? Where's the path? Alright, let's go into the cave. I don't know, should I... Am I supposed to go to the cave first, or the, the lighthouse first? The lighthouse is there. No, it must be the cave first. Because at the very start of the game, you could see the... Not the, not the lighthouse, sorry, the radio tower. At the very start of the game, you can see the radio tower already. I don't know. I don't know. Where's the Maybe they should have made this a little more clear. Look, if I just... I think the problem is that I double, I'm double. i double-guessing myself. Like, I see the cave. Oh, it looks interesting. Let's not do that. Maybe I shouldn't... Uh, maybe that's not a good attitude to have for this game, at least. Like, in most games... They, they will hide secrets in places that are not obvious. And so you are rewarded to look at things that are not obvious. And so if you're a gamer, you get trained to do that. And then if you play a game like this, where you're supposed to do the obvious thing, and you have no rewards for doing things that are not obvious, it kind of runs against everything you've ever experienced in other games before. Which is a bit awkward, you know? I threw my arms wide and the cliff opened out before me, making this rough home. I transferred my belongings from the bothy on the mount and tried to live here instead. It was cold at night and the sea lapped at the entrance at high tide. To climb the peak, I must first venture even deeper into the veins of the island, where the signals are blocked altogether. Only then will I understand them, when I stand on the summit and they flow into me, uncorrupted. I don't understand what that means. Something's going on with the graphics. I don't know if it's high dynamic range lighting or what. But, oh, my torch. Okay, let's check to see if there's... I'm pretty sure there's normal mapping there, look at that. If we shine on that bit of rock, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a normal mapping here. Okay, that's cool. So there's the fluorescent paint again. That's a neuron. That's a hybrid between a neuron and a hydrocarbon. That, I think, is... An anemone? An 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 um, um, what do you call those things? Sea anemones? I, I don't know if that's... how do you spell those? <laughs> Who knows? That, I think, is another neuron, a different type of neuron. That may or may not be a really squiggly tree. There's a pattern here, of course, like the branching things. And the branching things, that's the pattern. But uh, they're all different things. There's like the, the, the chemical and the 
and the amoeba slash anemone or whatever you call them and then the the neurons okay I think this is it for the cave this looks like a dead end this guy might just be going insane suit shirt tie oh well, there's a shirt tie and pants what is this bones and fluorescent paint so it seems like this guy is losing it on the island I mean if you're gonna lose your mind you might as well lose your mind with fluorescent paint right that makes it a lot more fun okay I think that's all we have here uh, what's that on the ground what is that? is that like a paper plane? it is okay then so there you go there's the cave and the guy says he has so he moved into the cave and then he's gonna go up the mountain to get signals from the radio tower or something I don't know the guy's probably slightly crazy and music Okay, whatever the hell it is. He still maintains he wasn't drunk, but tired. I can't make the judgment or the distinction anymore. I was drunk when I landed here, and tired too. I walked up the cliff path in near darkness and camped in the bay where the trawler lies beached. It was only at dawn that I saw the Bothy and decided to make my temporary lodgings there. I was expecting just the aerial and a transmitter stashed in a weatherproof box somewhere on the mount. It had an air of uneasy permanence to it. Like all the other buildings here, erosion seems to have evaded it completely. Okay, I don't know if you wanted to hear the music or if you want to hear me talk. The music is pretty good. But I could have missed all that. You know, I actually, the first time, I just left the cave and walked up here. I could have missed all of that. I think that's a mistake in the game, in the level design, in the game design, like I could have done that and there would have been no story, no music and I could have wandered up here there needed to be a gate there so that you had to go into the cave either go through the cave and then up this place or have a gate so that you have to go into the cave because otherwise like, you, have, you set up the story, you set up the sequence of where you want the player to go but then you have this arrangement where the player could avoid it and mess things up for himself. I don't think that's right. I mean, it's not a huge deal, but that I, I think that the level design there needed to be tweaked a little bit. Just because it would make no sense if, if you did what I did the first time and just kept walking. You, you would have missed that. Like, is that... Do you want that to happen? Do you want it to be possible for that to happen okay that's I think that's the end of the first chapter
So there's there's basically no game <laughs> in this game. It's basically just story. <laughs> Which is fine, it's quite nice. Like the the levels are well made, detailed. Stories Dear Esther. I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses, and have cross-referenced them within a millimeter using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Sanford and the welcome brake services. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. Really? There's an island that you just can't find? And this is where we are? Okay. I think we're going back in time too. Like before he was looking for the radio tower. And he was like drunk and crazy. Now he's talking about finding the island. Like before he was on the island. Now he's finding it. Okay, I think we're going back in time. Let me just take a break here. I need to do something. But I'll be back really quick. You won't even notice, literally.